That was a way better effect than I thought. Oh man, he is dead. Welcome back everybody to Subterrain. I'm IGP. Last episode we woke up in this mutilated body filled prison in a colony on Mars. We don't really know what's going on, but we do know that everyone is dead. Well, not everyone. We got attacked by something. Don't know what it is, but it tore apart our clothes. So we're naked now. We're trying to survive. We've made our way to the, I guess, the colony's transportation system, which we wouldn't normally have access to, but because everyone's dead, you know, I'm, I'm free to go. I'm a free man. I don't know why I was in prison. I guess we'll learn about that later. Also, I don't know if this is a manifestation of the virus or whatever it is that's killing everyone, um, or maggots. Because if those are maggots, we've I've been asleep for some time. and. It, how could maggots even be here on Mo I mean, I don't know. Maybe we colonized a few insects or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into the transportation system and not waste our battery and our flashlight. Thank you guys so much for your interest in the game. I'm glad you enjoy it. And thank you for the tips as well. You guys told me that if I have my power pack here, this is how all my energy weapons are powered. Uh, I don't actually have to attach them to the gun. It's just if I have the gun equipped and I have a power pack equipped, then I can actually use it. So that's going to come in handy when I guess I fight bigger mobs of things. Also, this is the map. Um, everything is randomly generated, or procedurally generated, whichever one you decide to use. I've never really been, like, too keen on the difference between those two. Um, I imagine procedurally generated would mean as you progress, then it starts generating randomly. Random generation just sounds to me like, here's a map, and it was created randomly, kind of like Minecraft. But, anyway, this is the map. And, uh, I know I can't travel to any place unless it's powered, and the only way we can power it is by going here first. Uh, that would be one hour and 40 minutes in-game time. Here we go on our little train station. So that's kind of nice. Oh, we're actually, we're actually transporting. Normal speed, sure. Times 48, what would be the difference? Oh, I can eat and stuff. Okay. That's nice that they allow me to do that. Unlike, you know, the long dark, for instance, when you, when you have to, like, wake up in order to eat, you can't just, like... Well, I guess that makes sense. You can't eat while you're sleeping, but, you know, if you're hungry and thirsty, generally your body's gonna wake you up anyway. It's kind of dumb to be able to die in your sleep from hunger. I mean, if you have food. Anyway, uh, I don't know. What am I looking at? Hungers, 21, thirst, fatigue. I do need to sleep. I think I can save my stuff for now. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go. I think we're okay. Once it gets halfway, and then I'll take care of the thirst and hunger. I don't think I need to do that otherwise. Left shift to sprint. Thank you. Now, I imagine as we progress, we're going to run into harder enemies. I'm not ready for that. I don't think I ever will be ready for that. But here we are at the communication station, I guess is what they call it. Hello. Save game. Yes. All right. So, uh, let's see. Get in here. I do like the map system. It's nice that it will show me and mark all the places I've been to. What is this? Charging complete. Oh, that's very nice. My power pack is now charged. Cool. What are you showing me? Oxygen canister. West can recharge his currently equipped oxygen canister by using the oxygen rechargers found throughout the Mars colony. Oxygen canisters are upgradable through research. Okay, that's cool. I don't have an oxygen canister, though. Oh, here we go. Temperature canister. Wes can recharge his currently equipped thermal canister by using the thermal rechargers found throughout the Mars colony. Thermal canisters upgradable through research. Same thing. Okay, so I need to find these canisters. I don't know where to look for those exactly, but maybe we'll run into them. You know what I don't want to run into is enemies. They don't seem to be quite frequent, but I imagine they will be later on. All right, I'm running low on space too, so I probably should. Let's go ahead and eat something. Uh, roast beef. Uh, let's do the morning cereal. How do I do that again? Oops. There we go. Double click. I already forgot how to use items. Uh, and we'll see if we could find beacon. Using a beacon and interacting it, interacting with it, maybe? We'll open up the beacon console. Beacons can be configured to have different colors. Wes can also add some short notes. Beacons are shown on the mini-map. If Wes picks up a beacon, any stored notes will be removed. Okay. That's neat. I guess when I start expanding, uh... Where I've visited, that'd be helpful, but, uh, for now, I think I'll be good without it, because we've only explored one other place. Ooh, another power pack! Sweet! And a beacon, there we go. Okay, so we're full right now, but, and what are you? Holy sh- Oh, it's a storage suite. Okay, so what can I go ahead and- He's got a- he's got a pee. Is he contaminated? 
Ah, I'm 2% contaminated. Okay. I don't know what some of this stuff is, but, uh... Can I go to all and sort by weight? Infected tooth. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Oh. Okay, maybe I can't store anything. I find a toilet, gotta drop a deuce. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, I, I, I gotta find a toilet. I don't know... This remote terminal isn't working currently. It needs level 2 software. Okay. So we're, we're, we're getting some new tech over here. Some new stuff. The remote terminal? Okay. Let's find a bathroom first. We gotta, we gotta take care of some stuff. And maybe we'll find... Excuse me? Holy shit. Temperature regulator. West can replace the regulator in the temperature temperature regulator, excuse me, to restore the temperature to a normal level in the area. Restoring the temperature level has an impact on the infection rate and evolution speed. Thermal regulators are upgraded via research. Okay. This remote terminal isn't working currently. Thermal regulator. I'm going wait, what? He's gonna crap himself? Dude, I'm sorry, I don't have a toilet. Can you not just go? Like, who freaking cares right now? I'm- okay. Don't worry, man. I'll get you somewhere. Is that what's causing his infection? Bathrooms, bathrooms, bathroom, 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 bathroom. Locked. Oh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Could there even be bathrooms here? Aha! Gotcha. Ah, <sighs> go do your thing. What? You just- you just took a leak. That was his contamination. Never mind. I thought it was. Ah, 23% No, 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 no! No, no, no! Ah, damn it! I did not mean to drink that. Contamination is still two, but that's bad. Woo! Okay, well, let's find a bed, shall we? Hello! Oh, is that a freaking gun? You gotta be kidding me, I can't take that. Why in the world can I not take that gun? And the hammer? Come on, dudes. Seriously? That sucks. Where are the damn enemies, dude? There are literally no enemies around here. Ooh, key card. I can take you. I wonder if I just become over-encumbered. Holy shit. Wow. This is gonna suck, trying to uh, manage all this stuff. I really need this. I mean, do I? I don't think so. I really don't think I need it. I haven't even found any other enemies right at this moment, so... The tram brought me to central control without any issues. Everything seems fine. It's rather odd, actually. I wasn't exactly sure what to expect when I arrived, but I didn't expect silence. Central tends to be swarming with people, hovering over terminals, talking through the corridors, guards posted up at doorways. Instead, it's a ghost town. The good news is that the oxygen generator seems to be running, otherwise I would have suffocated as soon as I opened the tram doors. Hopefully, most of MPO is in similar shape. Maybe I can check the status of each district's life support system somewhere in the central control. First things first, I better check on the reactor. Central control is where power is monitored and distributed through MPO. The reactor is in a secured area, but it's literally down the hall. I can easily access it should it need maintenance. I'll need to keep the reactor in working order, as the entire colony is dependent on the power supplied from this location to keep life support online. On top of that, the tram doesn't seem to be able to access any location that doesn't have power. So I'll have to keep that in mind. I should explore the area and search for supplies, but most importantly, I should look out for the power control console. It's got to be around here somewhere. Murray Space Center's lost power. But if I can reconnect it, I might be able to find a way out of here, or better yet, off Mars. Really now, do we have a plan to exit this planet? Because that would be super fantastic. Lots of places to go. Uh, I really don't know exactly. Ah, oh, bed. I need to sleep. Still on day zero. All right, let's go ahead and get up. What is in this container? Hello. Nothing. There's never anything. Oh! Nobody's home. It looks like there's nobody here, living or otherwise. Everyone seems to have evacuated, and whatever did this isn't around either. I guess this place is safe, for now. I may as well set up my base camp here. This would be a good place to stage my escape. Fortunately for me, most of the important facilities for MPO are within walking distance of central control. I don't even need to power up those sections to reach them. I could probably reboot the 3D printer and other facilities at Nilsen Engineering, maybe even print out some supplies I need. Herbert Research, where I used to work, has research equipment I could use to feed instructions to the system in Nilsen. I'll probably have to use the excavator at the mine to gather materials for the 3D printer. I should also check out the biosphere. I could probably use the agricultural systems there to supply the bio combiner 
at Nielsen Engineering, maybe even sustain myself. I should check out the loca location and see if I can figure out what's going on. At the very least, if I can get these facilities restarted, I can prepare myself for the worst. There are a few staircases leading to these areas somewhere around here. I'm sure I'll recognize them once I see them. Okay, so there's a lot of information being thrown at me right now. Suit. I got a damn suit. Let's put that thing on. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, there's a worn out prison suit. I don't need you anymore. There we go. Finally some damn clothes. Woo! No longer naked. That's a good thing. Keycard what now? Class B? I don't remember there being a locked door anywhere that I could use that on. Oh, here we go. Oxygen generator. Wes can replace the filter in an oxygen generator to restore the oxygen to a normal level in the area. Restoring the oxygen level has an impact on the infection rate and evolution speed, and West is able to breathe without the aid of personal oxygen supply. Filters upgrade via research. Here we go. Repairing. West can perform limited repairs on some weapons, suits, and generator modules using the nano reconstruction facility. This is limited to 50% of the original durability of the item unless the software is upgraded. Initially, the nano reconstruction facility can repair two items at the same time. Okay, that's going to be neat. Oh, hey, oxygen canister. Sweet. Let's go ahead and charge this up. Sweet. Okay, so now we have running oxygen, heat, and power. Just in case this stuff doesn't work. Oh my god, here's a fucking key card. I'm so dumb. Well, I'm not dumb. I mean, come on. Does it have to be in the trash can? Like, even even before all this stuff happened, right? Why would you throw that away? And even if this stuff did happen while you had the keycard on you, why is your first instinct to throw away the keycard? I don't know. That just seems a little weird to me. All right, so which one was this? The power blah, blah, blah. Power control room. Okay, so that's going to be down here. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. Okay, power control console. This has got to be the power control console. As usual, there's no one here either. I should be able to... I should be able to control the flow of power for the colony from here, as well as monitor the generator's current status. The generator's not operating at full capacity, so I should be careful when connecting additional sectors to the power grid. I could overload the reactor if I draw too much power. If I do, it'll overheat and probably initiate an emergency shutdown sequence. That would be bad. I could end up stranded if I'm not careful. And what's worse, working oxygen filters and temperature regulators can't function without power. A blackout means certain death, as far as I'm concerned. I can't just sit here, though. I'll have to power up other locations to gather supplies and gather information if I want to get out of here. There's a lot of consoles around here. If I search them, I might be able to find some information. Okay, cool. Power control console. The power control console can be used to connect and disconnect the power from the central control to the other locations on Mars. The generator has limited output capacity, and if West uses more power than it can produce, the energy may overheat, causing a massive blackout. Be careful not to get stuck in the remote location. Yeah, that would really suck. That does not sound like something I want to experience. I do like how the darkness behind me is like moving. It's like uh, fog or something. Okay, contamination. Contamination level is affected by eating and drinking contaminated food or beverages. It can also be increased by taking damage from mutant attacks. Wes can recover from contamination by using items such as decontamination pills. Wes can perform research to create the pills. Okay, I think I use the thing. All right, so let's, uh, let's power on Nilsen. How do I? do that oh there we go whoa and we can go ahead and disconnect that so we have enough power our right, research power usage global infection 13 percent okay so i'm just gonna do one at a time because i think we have the key card for this one for nilson okay so that's powered up all right, power console update. All right, Dr. Khan, I managed to figure this out. Using the data you got from Dr. Rukhvluv, I came up with a user interface modification so we can calculate the rate of infection from a glance. It's really simplified, but it'll get the job done. First off, we managed to tap into each district's bioscanners. Thankfully, these are subsystems that are directly powered by the generator, so we won't have to worry about keeping observed locations powered. Each district's infection level is calculated by density, and the more there are, the higher the percentage. Once I figure out a better way to calculate population, I'll patch it in, but for now, I just set a high threshold. If the district is above 80%, I'd steer clear of it. I don't even want to think what 100% would look like. The next thing I've added to the UI is infection rate, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is just telling me a little bit more about uh, what was on the map there. Okay, so damn, am I, am I lucky? 
Canisters, damn am I lucky. On top of avoiding the infected, I have also been fortunate enough to not die from suffocation or hypothermia. This may change quickly if I'm not prepared. The power console indicated that the oxygen filters and thermal regulators are offline for the most of the colony, so I'll need to find some oxygen and thermal canisters if I'm going to access those areas safely. Once I find some, I can change them using recharging stations. I should also try to fix the oxygen generators and thermal regulators whenever I can. Once I do, I'll be able to breathe or keep... Okay, so how do I fix these things? Okay. Nielsen Engineering. Nielsen Engineering was one of the very first facilities built here on Mars. It's older than any other facility uh, or district on Mars, including Central Control. Almost everything on Mars is manufactured here now, including pharmaceuticals and clothing. 3D printing technology was the only feasible way to found a colony on Mars. The logistics issues alone would have halted MPO's development as replacement parts would have been shipped out from Earth. Material shortages were also a problem on Mars back then, so the engineering bay has facilities to recycle and refine just about anything. Okay, so now we're going to do recycling so I can give her some of this junk. Sorry if I'm reading fast, guys. There's a lot of text in this game, and sometimes it's hard to manage. Anyway, this will definitely come in handy now that the colony's falling apart. These days, Nielsen Engineering relies on the Blueprint Database at Herbert Research in order to print out objects. Thankfully, Nielsen Systems will cache Blueprint data, so I won't lose access to Blueprints if Herbert loses power. Uh, I know the guys at Nielsen had a close relationship with the... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basically, I'm going to research stuff. The blueprints stay global or like in a cloud as long as it's powered and I can build certain things. Okay, the music stopped. Ho! Oh! Hello? Did you hear that? Oh, God, it's the door. Ah, you son of a bitch. Made me think there was someone coming through there. You crazy. Okay, we got people. He's gonna crap his pants, it's fine. Okay. Okay. He, let's get the gun out, I wanna shoot. Oh, shit! <laughs> that was better, that was a way better effect than I thought. Oh, man, he is dead. That is awesome. Sweet. It doesn't actually use up much of the power pack, either. Oh, God! Hello. Oh, God, dude, die. Hooah! Blown to smithereens. What are you? Infected tongue. I don't think I wanna I don't think I wanna catch that. Okay, so now we're getting into the enemies. Basically all these places are super full of enemies. Okay, that's a dead guy. Hello. Okay, nobody's in here. Can't do anything. Okay. Any storage? Okay, the music changed because of the enemies being here. That's fine. Uh handkerchief. A uh, hacked key card. Very good. Key card class B again. Okay, so let's do... I read that, I guess. Take that one. Okay. Cool. Uh, memo improvements. I'll read that. I'll read those later. Key card. I can't take it. Ah. Uh, I need to drink, but I don't want to do that yet because that's kind of a waste. Let's put the notebook away and take that. Uh, the notebook doesn't really say anything anyway. I do like the music. It changed a little bit. It's kind of a nice change of pace. Anything in here? Nothing. And can't. Okay. So that room's clear. Let's head on down. I'm not even scared, dude. This thing is boss. This thing blew him up to smithereens. Hello. What might. What are you? That seems, uh. There we go. It was an enemy. I figured it was. Very good. Now the music stopped. I guess it was because that thing was there. Or no. Oh, hello. What the fuck? What is happening over here? Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to beat your ass. What the hell are you? Die, dude. There we go. Jeez. Okay, so I was thinking that this was gonna be a game where it's like just infected people. Oh my god, I hear something. I hear something really creepy. Where's the toilet? Is there a toilet anywhere? There's a desk. Um, but yeah, I thought it was gonna be that, like zombies and such, mutants, but no, we got alien stuff going on. I mean, we're on Mars. Who really knows? Hello. I can't... Okay, anything in you? Key card. Ah, damn it. What can I give you? Take the watch. I know I'm, I'm probably screwing myself over here, throwing items. I'm not even checking what they could be recycled into, but it's not really concerning me at this point. Let's get back to the gun, because I felt like I heard something freaky. Oh, God! Jesus! 
Oh, look at that eye. Wait, how did your eye get so damn big? I inflated it with freaking rays. Okay. Nano casting kit. Very slow. Heals fractures. That's important to have that. That is very important to have. Ooh, purified water. I'll go ahead and drink that, actually. Sweet. Uh, basic medical kit I'll take. Uh, status. Okay. Uh, let's see. Anything in here? Come on. There we go. Nothing. Hello. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have a weapon like this. Seems like it's doing pretty well. Okay, so all this stuff I could really use, honestly. Um, da, 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 photon grenade, power pack. I don't need the light stick or the baton or the crowbar or the other crowbar. I think that's good. Let me take all these. I should take a decontamination pill. What am I at? 12? I think I'll be okay. I don't know how it affects me too much, but I do have an ability to sleep over here. Toilet anywhere? No. There is no toilet anywhere, but we'll sleep at double speed for now. Ah, this is getting this is getting interesting. S slight need to urinate, extreme need to. Oh, okay, so we're getting. Oh, we need to charge. Okay, we're getting we're getting bad. We need to find stations to charge stuff. Okay, let's find some bathrooms, please. Oh, hello, dude. Oh shit, hello, hello. The game is loud as fuck. I'm sorry about that, guys. Woo! Can we, uh, can we find a toilet somewhere? Is that possible? Toilet anywhere. No. Okay, we'll come back. Toilet is a must right now. He is extremely backed up. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Bathroom anywhere? Is this bathroom? Beds. Shit. I just kind of want to explore it all so I know not to go here. Ugh. Bathroom? Huh? What are you? What are you? Shower? Okay, so we're close. There we go. Toilet? Aha! Get rid of all that stuff. There we go. Okay, so his oxygen units in the canister. Yeah. So we need to make sure we get to... Okay, there's another toilet. Uh, I want to do all of it. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Oh, shit! Where the fuck did you come from, dude? You asshole. I'm sorry it's so loud. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I'm gonna turn that down on my end. Ah, the gun's too hot. Shit. Shit. Switch. Beat the shit out of that thing. It doesn't deserve to be here. Why is it? What is that even? Give me my gun back. I want that gun. All right, let's try to do that one. Oh, wait. Is it broken? That one's broken, I think. Oxygen getting low. Okay. So we'll equip that. That's fine. God damn it. All these friggin' enemies everywhere. Okay, so this is Nelson Engineering. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do in here. But there's not much. Here's a... Okay. Body lotion? Okay, I can't use that. I was thinking I could actually use it, but I guess not. Okay. Back over here. Sorry for that being so loud. It's probably going to show up in the, in the mic audio, too. Uh, that'll be fine. Okay, let's see. Open door. Uh, this is the kitchen, I guess. Oh. Okay, that's just always going to be stuff I really don't need right now. I just need to find a recharging station. I don't know if they have them everywhere in here or every single place, but they might. How? What the hell? Ah, oh, that's right. I can't see them unless it's light. Ah, you tricky, tricky game. You tricky, tricky game. Okay, nothing in here. That's fine. Come on, guys. I need to refill my oxygen bad. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Come on, guys. Please? Something? Nothing up here. Thermal's getting low. That's fine. Is it too cold? Aha! Here we go. Ooh, refine. West can refine ores and crops produced from mine and biosphere into materials. Processed materials are stored in the shared production material storage, which uh, from which a 3D printer and biocombiner can... Draw required materials from other than the two refining system to take a bio and your most power. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I really need to just recharge my stuff if at all possible, please. Wherever those uh things may be. Uh, what? Send in the 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 after making a fortune on the lucrative lunar bases, Nielsen Engineering partnered with Jeff Murray to make parts for the fledgling MPO. 
They set up shop immediately, even before central control was established. Assigned to head of MPO division of Nilsen was Sang Jun Bei, a retired dentist and partial heir, heir to the Nilsen fortune. Sang Jun Bei worked very closely with the Bigelow Mining Company, a relationship that was established in the early days of MPO. Bigelow's excavator burned through parts on a daily basis, and Bay was happy to be the only supplier on the planet. As MPO expanded, Nilsen Engineering did as well. Okay, uh, okay. A lot of backstory. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, that's the storage. Where are the recharging stations, guys? Come on. Okay, that's a big ass thing. More big ass stuff. Oh, come on. Uh, recycle. Okay, we already read that. I know what to do. I know what to do. Uh, craft. Oh, okay, here we go. 3D printer. Yeah. I'll look back at that if I need to. I really need to recharge my stuff, though, before I die. This is Nielsen Engineering. That's great. That's great, dude. I'm hella distracted by all this wonderful stuff around me. I want to get in that suit. But basically, I need to find... Ho, 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 hello. Yeah, I know we need to recharge. Okay. I can't do the shield. Might be going the wrong way, guys. More than likely going the wrong way. Ugh. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. Sheet. I don't know. Like, this isn't really a good mapped out area. This is a huge place, dude. This is an absolutely huge... Hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, I gotta fight with my fist now. Why aren't you... Oh, I'm out of stamina. That's right. So I can't even swing? It's really stupid. They're really stupid. Okay. Where are you at? Yeah, I know your power pack is out of energy. Hey, zombie. Ow. That hurts. Don't tear up my clothing now. Okay, he's dead. Excuse me? Oh, hi. I'm just trying to recharge my shit. Can I go do that, please? Are we gonna suffocate? Okay, that's annoying. Oxygen. Oxygen level is critical to West's survival. When West needs to travel to places with literally no oxygen, he will need to equip an oxygen canister to recharge it. Yeah, I know. I want to recharge it, dudes. I'm not stupid. I don't know what to do. But I. But you're not providing me with what I need. This is very important that you do this. Ugh. So where's my oxygen level anyway? My contamination's getting up there. But, uh... Yeah, this isn't really helping me with charging. Oh, come on, guys. Ah! Power. That's good. That's going to help me with my uh, blaster. But boom Nothing else, though? Oh, come on. Just that? Oh, this sucks. Okay, well, maybe we'll find something else. I doubt it now. Oh, jeez. Hello. Oh, what? Hold on. Continue to... <laughs> what? I didn't even see my health. Dude, that sucks. I just got fucking backslashed. Well, that was a fucking waste of time. <laughs> I guess I'll try this again. What does continue the save even do anyway? Oh, it just brings me back... to my last save. Yeah, it brings me back to my last save. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to get better at the combat. I'll try to get back to where I was, guys. Um... And uh, I guess we we are gonna die. I don't know if I died from oxygen or from dying from the thing. I wish I read that more before I continued. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I love you all, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.